Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lava Loonian. Uh, today you'll see this base looks pretty simple. I had no heroes in this war, so I kind of chose a lower level base at a new like, three star. Um, but it did cause some people some problems in our clan before I hit it, so I want to go over, uh, you know, basic troop launching, how you scout a base to get a little clearer. So when you're scouting a base, go ahead and look at, first thing, you need to make sure you draw your clan castle out. So you see that radius there, um, and it falls on the back half of your front defenses, which means hogs are going to stop short on the defense, and a loon stop in the first part. So your loon will stop about here, not trigger it, um, you know, on these front parts. So you're going to have to clear out some of this junk ring to go ahead and deploy those troops. So how I get them, um, when I'm starting this base, you'll see Expos up. You got your air defenses pretty spread out, so they're not hitting each other. So you can do kind of a piece-by-piece a piece attack on this base. Um, and the queen is in the middle here. I have no heroes, so I'm going to have to go with a pup kill, which I don't always suggest with the Expos up here and here. Uh, but it works out. Um, I'm not used to attacking kind of these low defenses, so to see I'm going a little fast on this and I have to make up for it in the end here. So to break this ring, I basically send one loon here since no other defense can reach it. Uh, and one loon here because no other defense can reach it. And that clears out my two archer towers so they're out of the picture in the, in the war. Then I'll send one loon here uh, reason being is I'm going to draw the troops up. I want to draw them close, so I basically draw the troops up here and do a loon kill on them. Um, and once that hits, hits down this defense, it will start moving in the ring and the troops will deploy. So works out like I want it to. Um, and then always check out where your air defenses are covering and which defenses are going to reach them. So all the whiz towers are basically on the front side of the defenses, which means I don't have to worry about them splash damaging my loons and I can take them out on the way to the air defense. So I'm going to send, uh, once I kill those troops, basically I want to send two hounds at this one. That's important for a pup kill. Because while the queen shoots down one hound, the other one's going to sit there until that air defense is killed. So she'll start focusing on the next hound, and then you want to rage the pups over there. Um, and I basically I'll send two loons there, two there, two there. And then once those are on their way, I'm going to come up here, drop a hound, send two loons there, two loons there. And then I'll come over here, drop one hound. Send two loons there, two loons there, two loons here. Uh, spots for Teslas. You can see basically the only open spots in the base are that line, that line, and right here. So he ends up having one Tesla there, I think, one there, one there, and one there. And you want to watch that out because they'll quick zap down your pups too. So just make sure you know where your balloons are going to funnel. Basically, these are going to funnel in here, split. Continue down the line. These will all funnel towards the air defense. Split there. Funnel, split there. So you got your pathing down. You got where you want to send them down. Um, and then basically, I save a couple loons. So I bring four hounds. And uh, you saw I already launched all four, but I know he has weak defenses. So I figure the hounds are going to converge, meet here, which is going to draw them their fire. And then I'm going to launch my loons over here so I don't take down this cannon because it can't shoot air. So once they hit here, they'll start making their way up there. And that's where my last loons are. I saved the rage. Um, didn't know how far these loons would get. So I didn't know if I'd have to rage these loons to get that down quick. Or the other plan is to rage them over the middle and get the loons in over there. So I end up going real quick, um, hit that rage in these loons so fast that they did, nothing kills the first hound, so the queen never gets the uh, rage pups. Um, and then I had to wait, hold off, and uh, 
wait for her to shoot down another hound to rage the pups over her. So be fluid in your attacks, watch what's going on, know what troops do, and you'll be able to get that. So um, my three spots for rages, I think I showed you guys. This one, you kind of, on the right, you want to rage early to get to the air defense. This one, you want to rage early to get the air defense. And when your hounds are sitting over here, when they're dying, you have to wait for them to explode. Rage over them to kill the queen. Now, I did it too fast, but like I said, I worked it out in the end. So we'll go ahead and watch the replay here. You'll see what I mean. So I come in at the bottom, take out those three defenses like I wanted. And that's what's important, knowing what your uh, loons can handle, what type of defense is, and where your range is. That loon takes out cannon, draws out the troops. I counted to make sure 25 troops came out. Draw them up. Forgot to draw them pretty far. Forgot about that little thing. <clears throat> Backtracked them, realized they were already in a ball, so I looked at my closest defense, realized I misjudged my loon, dropped another one behind them, killed them. So, in comes my two hounds. Um, and I was supposed to, <coughs> right here, start on my other drop to give them time to kill those uh, hounds, because I knew that uh, basically low defense levels, but kind of got in my old game plan of just giving it a second and then raging over her. Not enough time. So then in comes my back hound. Um, you'll see none of my hounds have exploded, so there was my mistake on killing the queen. And when I noticed it, kind of delayed my drop on the right side. Um, you'll see I say those two balloons on the bottom. And I made sure to rage those loons early enough to kill that air defense so I could start getting my hounds all the way down at the bottom since this was kind of going a little faster and out of order than I wanted. So I drop my loons at the bottom, take out that cannon and whiz tower. Here comes my hounds, and you'll see I'm just holding off on that rage spell. I waited for two hounds to pop over the queen and for the queen to focus on my loons before I rage my pups. That way I knew uh, my pups would go ahead and get raged on her. Once I saw my hounds going down, I felt free to throw that last rage in. All defenses were down. I made sure to get all my pups out of this war for cleanup since I knew I had no heroes to clean up. And you'll see I'll speed it up. Easy uh, three star with no heroes. So, can be done. You don't always need your heroes. You have to go down a little bit because you don't have them for cleanup. And, uh, like I said, be fluid in your attacks. Make sure your hounds blow up and you get those pups. And watch where the queen's going so you can kill her. I right, hope you guys like it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time.